be behind the scenes. Recommend half time. Incredibly canned. Toad again. But a lot of media outlet was over. Yeah, they really want Good morning. It is 9.15 a.m. and I've been up since 7. And I've been unpacking my suitcase from my trip to the Amalfi Coast because I got back at 1 a.m. last night. So it was a very late night for me. You guys know I'm an early bird, 9 p.m. in bed usually. So I was shaking it up last night. So yes, I've unpacked this morning, organized all my bits and bobs. I was leading a group hiking trip in the Amalfi Coast. I feel like I don't talk about my group hiking trips here on my YouTube because I never vlog them because obviously I'm with a group of people who, I don't know how they feel about being on camera. But I've hosted three this year and they've all been so much fun. So anyway, got back from my group hiking trip in the Amalfi Coast last night, unpacked this morning, just put my slap on, and today is a very exciting day because Anne and I are going to Wimbledon. I've never been to Wimbledon. I used to live in the area of Wimbledon, like a three minute walk from Wimbledon. And I never went. And now that I live in Surrey, nowhere near as close to Wimbledon, I am going to go this year. <laughs> we have got tickets for Centre Court. I mean, I'll tell you all about Wimbledon in a minute. But first things first, I need to decide what I'm going to wear. So last night I was looking on the location tag for Wimbledon on Instagram and just like establishing what people were wearing and they were mainly going for dresses and trainers. That was like the combination. So I'm going to look at a few dresses that I've got and see what I can find. It's quite a nice excuse to like put on a nice dress. Wimbledon is, yeah, it's a nice excuse to make yourself feel good. Okay, so I've got all of these dresses out. All of these, I've got out some white ones. This one's from Reformation, this one's from Cezanne. I've got out some red ones. This one's from Reformation, this one's from Kivari. And I decided I don't want to wear them. I'm actually going to wear a shorts and top combination. Let me show you. This is a cute little sort of beige. I don't know what colour would I call this? Like a sand tone ribbed knit top from Abercrombie. These are some black linen shorts from Under the Stories and I'm gonna wear my Hermes Aran sandals in the brown and then I'm gonna put my black bag with it and I feel like that's quite a cute neutral vibe. I was feeling a dress but then when I saw these shorts I was like they don't get worn enough. I think I've worn these shorts only a handful of times and I really want to wear something linen today so it feels like a really good opportunity to get them and give them a go. It's going to be super hot when we're It's going to be like 28 to 29 degrees, which here in the UK is stifling. So I'm going to wear these shorts, have a bit of breathable linen on me. And then, yeah, sandals instead of trainers, because again, it's going to be super hot. So that's the vibe. And here we go. Here is my finished outfit. I actually changed the sandals for the black ones. Black is not a typical Wimbledon colour, but you know what, guys? I'm going for it, and I'm feeling like... I'm feeling myself. I'm really enjoying this outfit. Got my bag full of sun cream ready for a very hot day, and some tennis, and some pims, and some strawberries, and just bring it on. And here is my cute date for my Wimbledon day out. Look at you with your shorts and your trainers and your stripy shirt and your glasses looking all handsome and stuff. Oh, thanks. Please excuse the background noise, but we, hello, are just walking from Wimbledon town to Wimbledon village. It's all uphill. It's all uphill. We've been to the shops, we've stocked up on some snacks and some drinks, but we are still gonna buy overpriced pins and strawberries in Wimbledon because we can't resist, it's a classic. And yeah, we're now walking to the Ivy to go and get some, some brunch. brunch. And we're just making a full day of it. It's warm. Full day. So exciting. We have made it to the Ivy in Wimbledon. We're browsing the brunch menu. Are you excited? Yeah, I'm gonna get the usual. The usual? Yeah, two breakfasts. Two breakfasts. A sweet and a savoury. Sweet and savoury and a coffee and an OJ and... A big feed. Yeah, maybe get something to take away, like a little snack or something. Why not? Live it large. Kick starting with some mini pastries. That's a bit of you, innit? The pastries have already all been eaten. Ants were on the toast. I've got a green juice and an oat milk latte. Aunt's got an oat milk americano and an orange juice. I've never seen this dish at the Abbey before. It's an avocado eggs benedict and we also got some hash browns, little potato rosties on the side. Yum yum yum. We finished up our brunch and we're full. 
We're very full. We're stuffed. And now we're walking from Wimbledon, from Wimbledon Village. Can't get my words out today. From Wimbledon Village to Wimbledon Tennis. And it's given us lots of deja vu, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Because lockdown deja vu. Mega lockdown deja vu. Because we used to live literally just down the road from here. And this was my running route in lockdown. So it just feels kind of surreal. Being yeah. back. Last time we were here, we were getting Gail's coffee. And, the regular. and queuing up two metres apart. Queuing up two metres apart to get a Gail's coffee. And now we're back. Yeah. Just feels, yeah, lots of memories coming back. Lots of fond ones, nice just also memories. some weird lockdown ones. <laughs> We've made it in. This is the entrance area from gate four, did we come in? Gate four? Or gate five? Gate five, I think. And here's centre court where we're going to be going. An hour or two? When are we going in there, babe? Uh, place starts at 1.30. Okay, nice. So we're going to go maybe get some pims, some strawberries, have an explore. Can do. Yeah. yeah, sounds good. Yeah, let's have a little mooch around. I'm excited! And this is the map of the whole place. Right now, we're here. This is centre court. And look how many courts there are at Wimbledon. So we have a lot to explore. And this right here is the famous hill where people sit and watch a massive screen over there, which shows the tennis. And our first stop of the day is Pims on the Hill. Yes. Here we go. First Pims of the day. Who knows how many more there'll be, but I'm very excited. Wow. Cheers. Oh. I'm nice hot. and refreshing. I am hot. Tastes like summer. But this is a very British thing, isn't it? It is. It is. So if you're from a different country and you come to the UK, you have to try Pims. It's like the drink of the summer and it's the drink of Wimbledon. One part so Pims to three part lemonade. And then lots of fruit. Lots so of ice. Cucumber, apples, oranges, strawberries, chopped up in there. Pims at number two and we are heading into centre court to watch the men's semi-final. Are you ready? Yeah. Let's do Can't this. We are going up to the very top. I'm not going to lie, we haven't got the best seats in the house, have we? We're but right well, we're going to be right at the back. But we're still, we're not seeing the house, which is the main thing. That's the most important thing. We're going to be far away, but we're going to see the action in person, which is cool. And up at the top, we can see where we used to live. We used to live literally on that street over there, on the other side of that. So we do have the highest seats in the house. Oh, on the back row. Back, back row at the cinema. Back row. Snogging seats. So let's show you the view. This is centre court, as I said, we're on the very back row. It's starting to fill up. And there it is. left the court and I got myself some lunch. It's the Jamaican stew which he said is vegan and has legumes in it so that is a bonus and then yeah the men's semi-finals is just about to begin so it's getting super duper duper busy in here it's completely full. And I got us two portions of Wimbledon strawberries and cream and they had a plant-based cream option which is amazing so I can't wait to tuck into these. match what a match so good right <laughs> it was good it was really really good Djokovic gave him, gave him a chance in the first set and then and he just tore like, it back <laughs> that's it that's it that's all I'm giving you but the atmosphere is incredible and it was just so good to be there when somebody British was playing because I feel like everybody was behind them and cheering for them and chanting for them and it was just Good vibes, really good vibes, absolutely loved it. So now we are heading home, we're going to catch the train from Wimbledon and we're going to go and have some dinner, yeah? Sounds like a plan. Successful day? Yeah, I'm sweaty. Oh, he's sweaty because it's hot. He's sweaty. <laughs> my balls are crack. I was still filming that. <laughs> we are home, I don't know what time it is, I think it's like 7.15. And I thought I could just quickly show you guys our apple tree in our garden because she is thriving right now. Look at this. Look at all these apples. Absolutely laden. Laden with them. I think they're cooking apples, but correct me if I'm wrong. If anybody's an apple expert, this is what they look like. They're cooking apples? What sort of apples are they? What can I do with them? Can I make a crumble with them? 
I would enjoy making a crumble. So yes, apple tree is thriving. And also my dad's geraniums. My dad gave me a bunch of geraniums to plant. You saw that when I did the vlog at home with the flowers, he gave me a bunch of geraniums. Let me show you them. They are the bright pink ones and they are hashtag thriving. Look at them, they're doing so well. I think I need to do a little bit of cut back on some of the dead heads, which I will do tomorrow. Gonna have a bit of a garden, no, not tomorrow, Sunday. Gonna have a little bit of a gardening admin day, go to the garden center, etc., etc., and trim the plants. And yeah, Anne is just about to start making dinner and I'm gonna sit down and do my emails for the evening. Then hopefully I can switch off about an hour or so and we can just have a chilled Friday night. But it's just, oh, it's been such a glorious day. Such a glorious day. Is that Bella? Yeah. 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 This man bloody loves that cat. He loves her so much and it warms my heart. And is serving up dinner. We've got a little tofu curry with sweet corn, peppers, mange too. There's anything else in there. I think that's about it, isn't it? I'm just finishing off my emails after dinner and Ant has brought me some Tony's chocolate, which he saved for me. That's when you know that they're a keeper, when they save some Tony's chocolate for you. Thank you. So I thought the chocolate was my dessert, but turns out Ant has a second dessert for us. Ben and Jerry's vegan cookie dough ice cream. Oh my God. Second dessert for you, first yeah. dessert for me. Yeah, because you're so generous like that. Look. And Jerry's ice cream in the garden. In the garden, in your gob. In my gob, in the garden. My legs are very sore. Sore. You should have a bath, you know. Do you have oh, a stretch? Weather. Do you have a stretch? Yeah, I could have a stretch. I have a stretch. Oh, a stretch. He's got some severe DOMS today, but he's not done anything about it. Yeah, DOMS is not a good. Not doesn't necessarily mean you've had a good workout. I, I, I listened thanks. to that on the human lab. Thanks for the, thanks for the update. Yeah, knowledge bomb. <laughs> the vegan ice cream. What is it, Bella? Oh no. Do you no. Want to try some? No, thank you, Dad. I'm just going to shake my paw, wag my tail, lick my lips, and turn away. Goodbye. There's a lot of background noise going on right now. There's planes, there's trains, trains. there's everything happening. But we thought we'd just end the vlog here. It's been a good bloody idea. glorious day, hasn't it? It's been a good day. You enjoyed it? Yeah, I really enjoyed it. Thanks for getting tickets. Thanks for taking me. You're welcome. Thanks for the fun day out. You're welcome. I've really enjoyed it. I'll send you the bill tomorrow. I'll, I'll invoice you. Yeah? yeah, yeah, yeah. Go for it, go for it. Wimbledon is such a bucket list experience and I'm so glad we got to experience it and go to Centre Court and see a semi-final. So cool. Yeah, no, I'm pleased. I've not been to Wimbledon for, for, for yonks. Have you ever been to Centre Court before? Yeah. Oh, have you? I've queued up for tickets. I've got, oh, I, we did I, the I, camping thing. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Hardcore supporters. So, Ant did the camping thing before. So, he's, he's a seasoned pro. I know how it works. My first I'm rodeo. New. I'm new to this. I've not done so. the debenture stuff yet. No. What's debenture? I'll uh, relax this or all the posh stuff. You know, posh oh, people go there. Posh people, posh things. Yeah. Well, maybe I'll leave, we, I'll, maybe I'll we leave can you be that posh one day. I'll leave, I'll leave you to sort that out next year. Yeah, yeah, I'll sort us out. I'll hook us up with the posh things. Yeah, okay. Yeah. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, please hit thumbs up. Please leave a comment. Please subscribe. I'm going to order on. a water hose sprinkler for the lawn. Are you? Yeah, look at the lawn. It's looking very dry. It's looking very dry and very battered right now. I mean, Burnt. I was just ending the vlog. Then it got caught. If you've got any gardening the... tips on how to keep your lawn looking green and lush mm. in the summer months, let us know because it's having a real rough time this year. I'm not going to lie. Mm. It's, it's, gonna it's lie. balding in patches. It is definitely balding. Yeah. Okay, we are going to end the vlog now. Okay. We say goodbye. Bella says goodbye and we'll see you in the next video. Yeah, sounds good.